welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about types of chips in metal cutting operations so basically the output or you can say the result of the cutting generally it will be onto the chips so according to the different kind of material is being used to cut the different materials and generating the different kind of chips during the cutting operations so let us see over here so the types of the chips so in that case generally chips are separated from the workpiece to impart the required size and shape of the workpiece so generally the raw material is converting into the finished product according to my requirement of the dimensions it will be cutted so according to that cutting process onto the metal it will be generating the chips so in that case the types of chips exist form is basically function of the work material and cutting conditions so in general case if i work on to a ductile materials so it forms the different kind of chips if i work on to the brittle material so it will be having a different kind of chips so according to that particular material is being used as a workpiece material it forms the different types of chips so here chips represent the behavior and quality of the process so quality it means it will be surface development surface roughness and the dimensional accuracy of your products so generally classification of the chips it will be having a three first one is a continuous chips second one is a continuous chip with the built up edge and third one discontinuous chips or you can say segmented chips so first of all starting with the continuous chips so in that case this type of chips are produced when the machining more ductile materials so if my material as a workpiece it will be ductile so it will be generating the continuous chips so maximum probability to form a continuous chip during that raw material is converting into the finished products so in that case due to the large plastic deformation possible with the ductile materials so longer continuous chips are being produced so just you can see over here the workpiece material and the tool so as from the tool is imparted onto the workpiece according to the my depth of cut feed and the speed when the cutting force is exceeded then the cohesive force of the materials so that chip is being formed at its shear plane angle so that shear plane angle and the heat distribution we already discussed in my previous lectures so for here when the cutting force is more than the cohesive force of the materials so at that time chip is being formed and due to the ductile materials that will be having a characteristics it will be long plastically deforms so it will be generating the continuous chips so in that case this type of chip is a most desirable since it is a stable cutting resulting in a general good surface finish on the other hand these chips are difficult to handle and dispose is because it will be having a long the chips coil in a helix or you can say chip curl or you can say curl around the work so that will be increasing the heat around the cutting tool area so maximum heat will be occupied by the chips as we already discussed so around 70% heat onto the chip due to that continuous flow onto the top surface of the tool so the tool and may the injure the operator when break loose so at that time it will be need to be cut the continuous chip so there are various types of chip breakers is being built onto the tip of the tool so that will be discussed in our next lecture so right now this continuous chip remains in contact with the tool face for a longer period resulting in a more frictional heat so that will be damage the top face of the tool or you can say that will be increasing the tool wear of the materials so let us see over here the cutting action that will be carried out onto the lathe machine so just you can see over here the lathe machine 
so various components over here so just you can see over here it will be the chuck of the lathe machine and the workpiece is being mounted onto the three jaw chuck and here it will be the single point cutting tool it will be mounted onto the tool post of a lathe machine so with the application of the different feed mechanism for the depth of cut and feed it will be operated now you can see over here tool will be in contact with the workpiece materials and you can see over here the continuous chip is being formed so over here now we will see the different positioning of the tool and that will be the basically two types of positioning orthogonal cutting and uh, oblique cutting so now for different position for the turning operations onto a uh, ductile materials so you can find over here the continuous chip is being formed so for the basically different kind of feed mechanism and the working condition of the cutting onto the lathe machines it will be developing a different kind of chips so here you can find with the continuous chip somewhere it will be you can see the built up edge is being formed due to the heat generating between tool interface Now continuous with built up edge is when the machining of the ductile materials and the conditions of the high local temperature and extreme pressure in the cutting zone and also the high friction into tool chip interface notice. So at that time some moment of the time that chip is not flowing onto the face of the tool. So at that time some material is being deposited over there and during that flow of the chips that will be flowing at the one of the edge of the chips so that time the built up edge is being developing onto the continuous chip just you can see over here it will be cause the work material to adhere or you can say weld to the cutting edge of the tool forming and built up edge being formed so just you can see over here when the tool is penetrated into the workpiece and it will be developing a continuous chip by the exceeding of the cutting force more than the strength of the material so some moment that material it will be well nearer to your cutting tool edge so after the cutting force sometime it will be having a built up edge onto the particular continuous chips so at that time you can observe it and that will be the category of the continuous chip with the built up edge so due to the some porosity or you can say the material defects is being onto the workpiece material or you can say there is a more heat is developing over there so there is a some weld action it will be carried out onto the tool chip interface so due to that that kind of chip is being formed and it will be called as a continuous chip with the built up edge so in that case the successive layer of the work material are then added to the built up edge when this edge becomes larger and unstable it breaks up and part of it's carried up and face of the tool along the chip while the remaining is left over the surface being machine which contributes to roughness of the surfaces although the built up edge protect the cutting edge of the tool changes the geometry of the cutting tool so that will be generating the tool wear over there 
and you can see that it will be the considering as a crater wear of the tools. Now the last one discontinuous or you can say the segmented chip. So basically this type of chips are usually produced when the cutting more brittle materials like grey cast iron, bronze and hard brass materials. So in that case the materials lacks the ductility necessity for appreciable plastic chip formation. So just you can see over here once tool is fed against the workpiece according to my depth of cut, feed and the speed of the cutting the characteristics of the material it will be not elongated so during that cutting of the brittle materials that remove material it will be in the form of segmental metals so that will be generating the discontinuous or you can say the segmented chip over here so for that the materials ahead of the tool edge fails in a brittle fracture manners along the shear zone so that will be having a discontinuous chips since the chip breaks up into the small segments the friction between the tool and the chips are reducing resulting in a better surface finish you can get with the brittle materials so these these chips are convenient to collect handle and dispose of because that will be the discontinuous so let us see onto the lathe machine for the turning of the materials and it will be developing the discontinuous types of chips or you can say segmented kind of chips. So these all are the different kind of chips right now it will be the continuous chips and somewhere you can find it the continuous with the built up edge kind of chips. So basically the continuous chips is being formed with the more ductile materials. Now we will see the segmental or you can say discontinuous types of chips. So that will be not having a enough length so it will be just break down because of the characteristics of the materials. So if you like it then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials. Thank you very much.